businesses are now reacting. Representative Paul Ray is calling on state officials to uphold the law surrounding vaping and e-cigarettes. The health department says it's investigating. Meanwhile, vape shops say this is all coming out of left field. I don't know. Yeah, that this is this is news to me. Ron Anderson, manager of Genie Smoke Shop in downtown Salt Lake City, says he wasn't aware of the 2015 rule. Representative Ray says was enacted by the vaping industry, which requires a U.S. FDA approval through a pre-market tobacco application after August 8, 2019. So as of August 8, it is illegal to sell vape juice. It's illegal to sell anything but a closed cartridge in the state of Utah. But the FDA pushed that date back a year, and store owners say it wasn't updated in Utah law. Regardless, Representative Ray wants to ban e-cigarettes and vaping altogether, citing results from an independent lab test on 12 e-cigarette liquids sold in Salt Lake County, 10 of which tested positive for illegal drugs. This is all health department, you know, uh, state, everything's, you know, up to code. If you're currently vaping, stop. And if you've never vaped or thinking maybe you want to try vaping, don't start. Vape supporters say this stems from black market products. That's why Representative Ray wants e-cigarette liquids banned and more state regulation on those products. We're going to require a, a, a tax tag like we do with cigarettes. So they're going to have to come in and they're going to have to have their cartridges inspected. Anderson says this could have a lasting impact on local business. Well, sure, nobody wants to just smoke tobacco. They want to smoke bubble gum. Representative Ray says these liquids that test positive for illegal substances are to blame for health issues. And the Utah Department of Health backs that up, saying recently dozens of health issues have been attributed to vaping. In downtown Salt Lake, Jared Jatsanini, ABC4 News. President Donald Trump is also taking